Amanda, you're a veteran of O4J. Um, <laughs> I see you everywhere at every uh, event. So, what, what did you think of this uh, particular consulta? Um, I thought it was good. It was great. Um, it was really good to see something happening for May Day. Um, I think that's a really great tradition for Organizing for Justice to have, to try and do something around International Workers' Day and have a, a space where people can be actively involved in issues around today. Um, so I think it was great. A lot of people talked about a lot of great ideas and issues they're facing in their community, and um, not just issues, but then how we can organize and strategize and respond to them and build positive things, um, which I think is a really great part of organizing for justice, that we talk about constructive solutions and improve. It's really important to, to, to build networks and to build uh, like resistance in Ottawa to some of the things that are happening. I mean, things seem in a, a bit of a lull right now in terms of like social movements that I think we really need to kind of uh, rebuild, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's May Day tomorrow. Yeah, which is International <laughs> Workers' Day. So it, it tends not to be observed so much in, in, in English-speaking Canada, but mm -hmm. there is a big rally tomorrow on Parliament Hill, so that'll be awesome. Mm -hmm. I've, been, I've come to a, a few different Organizing for Justice events, and one thing I really like about them is that I always see new people at them, whereas I feel like different activist events I go to, it's always the exact same people. Mm -hmm. um, and there's not always a lot of encouragement to further participate, whereas I feel like this, I always see new people everyone I've been to. I came here because uh, I'm a student at the University of Ottawa, and I really, uh, you know, I really wanted to get involved in my community over the course of the summer, and really kind of just, you know, help out in the area where I live, issues that affect me and affect everyone else around me, and um, kind of also bring that perspective to a higher level of thinking as to, you know, more widespread, maybe nationwide or global thinking. I'm on, I'm, I think I'm on the up for day list, I'm on the Facebook group and I, I, I've been involved with other, other events in the past. Yeah. Day that I, I really think that um, bringing the act, like different, different people from the activist community uh, together is, is really important and I think that there should be um, more, uh, more, more events to, for, to sort of cement that to, to create solidarity because yeah we say whatever solidarity but like solidarity needs to be created it's not just it's not just automatic I also like a lot of the ideas that are being put up under those um, the, the uh, those different topics like it seems like it's it's problem solving some of the, the issues that are, are kind of fundamental to uh, why having movements isn't happening as much and and maybe it'll come up maybe something will come out of, uh, of this like a plan of how we can set up a movement that will work. <laughs> so I like that. I definitely enjoyed um, connecting with people from various backgrounds and seeing how you know we we have a lot of a lot of the same uh, obstacles. Yeah, it seems to be like a really good opportunity for networking with other groups. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it was really great. I was surprised. I didn't really think. I thought because nobody I showed up came, I thought nothing would happen with it. But it turns out there was a lot of really great people. You're one of the organizers for this event. Yes, I am. Um, how do you feel it, it went today? Uh, I think it went really well. I mean, what I love seeing is people that I don't know uh, and being able to get to know them and know what their issues are and what they're working on and how we can work together. Um, and I think it went really well. Not only did we talk about broader issues in terms of ideologically or like day-to-day -day life in terms of what challenges we face in our organizing, but we also talked about tangible, practical steps in what we need, how to fulfill those needs, what are the first steps towards fulfilling those needs, and coming up with projects and all like initiatives that will, you know, um, that will come out of this and that hopefully will be sustainable mm -hmm. and help organizing on a much broader level in Ottawa. And I think it was great.